Hey guys, hi. I am currently getting ready. Sorry, I'm slouching. You're just so low. But um, yeah, I'm hurry up. I'm getting ready because if you watched a previous video of mine, my mom and I are gonna head to the Gucci store here at La Cantera and we're gonna go see if we can exchange the bag because it has chain dents on it. Long story short, she bought it from Italy, so that's my biggest thing, and then it was also like two months ago, and she's never worn it, and upon um, transport to Texas, it seems that the chains, um, the chains dented the leather part of the bag. But anyways, for a longer story on that, um, the Gucci Marmont bag, go check out this video, I'll link up here. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead to La Cantera and go to the Gucci store. And then after that, we're gonna eat some Japanese food. Excuse, I'm just getting my hair ready. And I kind of wore this dress because doesn't it look very Gucci-esque? I didn't want to go wear a Gucci bag, but um, today the bag of the day is this Stella McCartney bag. And then I'm gonna have my hair fully down. If I don't vlog, um, if I don't vlog at the mall or the Gucci store, I'll definitely let you guys know uh, what the outcome is and what they say and then keep you guys updated for sure. And then I'll try to vlog at the Japanese place, but really just trying to spend um, time with my mom. But yeah, just want to let you guys know that I'm going to get that, that bag situation figured out. <laughs> Like that one? Mm -hmm. You look so cute. What is this one called? Let me see the side. Oh, that's not bad at all. Oh, a little there bit more. There we go. 69. There was another one. Are these all the ones that you have, Ophidia? These styles, all these out here are all the styles you have right now? Oh no, I'm gonna have more. Like, um, there's only so much we can, can put, put out there. Oh yeah, <laughs> but do you have Maybe something of similar concept like this? Yeah, these. I have a smaller one. Um, oh yeah? Like that. Yeah, because... Um, I can show you more. Okay. Yeah, she really wants one that, like... I like this couch, that's why. Yeah, in the, in the, in the middle point here. <laughs> You're so cute. I love the chairs. They're like all um, Gucci. Oh, this <laughs> your Okay. <laughs> You're so fancy, mom. You're so fancy. The, okay. <laughs> This bag is so light. I like. Yeah, why another bag? We're at Dillard's because they have vintage bags. And, uh, and where does the computer go? Computer, you can go in the here or here. What size computer? Uh, LV one, the, like a computer bag. Sam, uh, tell me which we can you put the FaceTime? Do it. Okay. Okay. Bye. Right. And then, okay, wait a minute. So the inside, like I said, has like, you zip it and it has these two like pockets in the inside, which is cute. And I really like this like canvas and the zippers go all the way down. I don't know how many centimeters inches this is. And then inside, it's super clean too, but it's no padding. It's just this canvas. It looks like it could fit a laptop, but I'm not sure, but we can measure it. Yeah. Yeah. 
What about, do you like this checkered print better or do you like the other kind better? Either one. Oh yeah, because these are cute for, um, this is a very professional messenger bag. This yeah, one? Too small. For too her. small? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. No, that one I don't really like. I don't think I, it would look good with the suit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, you want like very professional, not like a work bag. Like you want, oh, okay. I mean, that kind of looks cool. That looks very professional. Oh, yeah. Well, no, the, this one, she like it, actually. Yeah. But you cannot put very much. She cannot have... How do you know? No, I mean, she, you cannot have a strap. She oh, a strap. she wants a strap. That's all. That's all. She's so particular. Oh. I used to, oh, no, I thought I had that bag. I didn't. So this one? Oh, no, that one. She might like that one. That one's a crossbody, yeah. In the back. That one's that one is cute, but you're right, it's too small. Mm -hmm. That is yeah. too small. Let me see. Mm -hmm. back. Yeah, too dark. Oh, ledge. You're right. Okay, guys, I'm back at home. I at the house. And yeah, so um, we went to the Gucci store with my mom, like I said, to see if we could return that Gucci bag that was defected from the chains upon transportation from Italy. And so we walked into the Gucci store. Um, I've never actually, well, I have been in it once before, but this Gucci store at La Contera is like really cute. Anyways, we went early in the morning and when they opened and Marion, I think that's her name, I'm going to like put her information down below because she, if you're ever shopping at Gucci here in San Antonio, La Quintana, you have to go to her. She's so nice. Okay, so for the results, ultimately, they said no. So uh, Marian, I think that's her name, she went to go talk to her manager because he was in a meeting and we couldn't talk to him in person, which was kind of like, I didn't really like that, but whatever. And so I just went in and I said, hey, this is what happened. I'm not expecting much, but I just want to see, you know, because like we showed her how the bag was packaged in Italy and basically they just put the bag with like the chains were semi wrapped with like foam and then it was in a dust bag, but it was in a big like Gucci, um, big Gucci bag box and then it was just placed in the dust bag there was no paper wrapping there was nothing around the bag besides the dust bag which typically like usually you put like some kind of covering over the bag and then put paper wrapping along the side so the bag doesn't move around there wasn't any of that <coughs> so in the um and they knew my mom was going to texas excuse me they knew my mom was going to texas flying and so it was wrapped my mom didn't realize this until she opened it and like it was just like rolling around in there I mean in a dust bag obviously but no paper wrapping but my mom's kind of new to like buying things new at the store so she didn't really think much of it but for me I've had experience almost like 10 years of like shopping uh, luxury stuff and so I'm kind of like well that's not really the proper way of getting a bag especially if you're flying somewhere the packaging wasn't whatever so I explained it to the sales associate she's like okay let me speak to my manager she mostly she wanted to see the receipt and so she went to the did her manager who was in a meeting and he basically said no because the bag um it was like in december 20th and so it's like two months almost and my mom kind of just didn't really even wear the bag and just put it in her um, closet and so i saw it so that's how two months elapsed because i just came back to texas so um yeah so because it was over the 14 days of purchasing um Essentially, she said that we couldn't return or exchange because I honestly my mom wanted to return it and get like She doesn't want the Marmont leather bag um, Just because of its 
like the le the nature of leather it can dent and stuff like that so she um wanted the affidia bag which i actually gave her a vintage affidia bag she wears it almost every day but she really wants to get a new affidia bag so we actually tried on a few we'll probably go shopping next week because i really think she wants to get um a affidia bag so i'll keep you updated on that but and before she said no um she also said that um if we were to exchange it, she would have to convert the euros to American dollars and then we'd have to pay extra, which is fine. I just said, hey, can we return it? Maybe we can get the Fidia bag or can we exchange it, maybe get it fixed? And she was like, no, essentially because it was over 14 days. So she said, and I was like, you know what? My mom and I were like, no big deal. She ended up bringing out um, a small Gucci Marmont bag and showing us like, you know, this is this floor piece and she's like, it actually does, like it was kind of flat and the weather was like wearing. She's like, this type of Italian leather kind of softens and it does make dent a little bit. It may like soften and be flat, but she's like, it kind of adds like a little charm to it. And I was actually looking at it and my mom's bag is like perfectly fluff, like, you know, perfectly round, but it has those dents and it kind of looks ugly. But then the bag that she brought was a Gucci Mini sorry a gucci mini marmat and it's been like on display people have worn it a lot it was actually really dented in the front but it was all flattened and kind of soft and honestly i actually like i feel bad on the last video because i was like i'm not impressed with the quality honestly i don't know i just didn't really think it was all that great quality i mean it was fine it just seemed like i think i was biased because i saw the denting with a new bag but after like inspection of like how this bag was kind of worn and I put it on my bag, my, my body, I was like, oh my gosh, I kind of like it. It's a little edgy. It's kind of like carefree, but put together at the same time. So, um, you know, my mindset has changed a little bit because I put on the other bag and I was trying it on and I was like, you know what? Actually, I think the Marmont bag would be really cool if it was worn and flattened and kind of like loved instead of being so proper and pretty, you know? So yeah, so that's my thought process. Um, also she said because we can't return or exchange it she was like you know we can what we can do is we can send it to New York we'll take pictures we'll hold the bag in um, in the house while it's the pictures are being sent to New York and they would identify whether the bag would could be repaired for free or if we would have to pay money and yada yada and how long it would take and my mom was like you know what she's like we're just gonna keep it um, she's like, and I was, you know, I was like, how come we don't even wear the bag? She's like, okay, I'll wear it, wear it. You start wearing it more, you know? So my mom's like, you wear it more. I, want, I really want the Affidia bag. And so, yeah, my mom's like, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. That's fine. It's worth trying that we did try. Um, and so she's going to keep the Gucci Marmont leather bag in the small size, which I discovered what it was. And, um, yeah. And so we'll both probably wear it a little bit, make it like more aged and leather, like goodness, like the, the buttery goodness. And, um, the sales associate also said to buy like a leather cleaner and like clean it once a month. It'll kind of help with like just making it soft and taken care of. So that is it. Basically Gucci said no, but that is okay. I found a really awesome, a sales associate, which, um, was cool and then my mom and I like she was looking at belts but I was like do you really well wear belts no and so there was three affidia bags that she actually really liked there was one that was like a vanity case but she didn't like it because there was no extra pockets and then there was also one that she tried on that was really pretty but it had a chain and she didn't really want a chain so essentially she really likes the affidia bag that kind of is like the same Basically the new, renewed bag of what I gave my mom, the vintage version, I'll put a picture right here or a video or something. And um, it has like an extra pocket in the front. So she's really leaning towards that one. I think it's like 16.95 US dollars. And um, yeah, the only downfall I didn't like about it is I felt like it was a little bulky, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So, oh my gosh, it's an airplane. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm looking so shiny. Sorry. Um, that is it. I just wanted to give you guys an update on my experience there. Even though they said no, like I said, the experience was fun. And we should be back there maybe within the next week or two going shopping. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I am going to get something to drink. And maybe I'll check in later or maybe I'll end the vlog now. But... 
thanks for listening and thanks also for you guys input on the last video on what i should do i kind of really i kind of was already expecting this answer but i said hey you know what why not give it a shot so yeah that is it oh so i'm currently i don't know if you guys saw oh yeah you did see i vlogged i'm um, going to dillard's and honestly like my mom said that i knew that dillard sold like pre-loved bags and stuff like that but i didn't realize um, they had such a variety so anyways my mom and i went there because we're looking for a bag um for my sister she bought a um darmira bean bag there for 1200 which i think is a ripoff although their bags are like in good condition even though they're like pre-loved um and i think some are vintage i just think their prices are overpriced did you see like there was a never full that was like that's not vintage, but pre-loved. It was a Neverfull MM, and it was $17.95 for the green, pink interior one, monogram. I was like, isn't that how much it costs anyway? So I'm confused. Um, and then also, like, that my sister's trying to find a work bag, so we were showing her, like, this, like, luggage kind of bag, like a suitcase kind of bag. And it ended up being, like, I think they are trying to sell it for... 1600 1695 I was like, yes, it's in good condition, but, I mean, I can buy pre-loved bags like better online so i feel like dillard's situation was kind of like yes they have selection but honestly like it was too expensive and so i was telling my mom that and my mom's like well you have to keep in mind that not everyone's like you like you know how to like semi off like see if bags are real or not you know how to like shop for bags and other places pre-love whereas like my mom and my sister don't really know how to do that so it's kind of like gives them a peace of mind so i get it but i still think they're overpriced yes maybe they have to take a commission or whatever for dealers i don't know how it works i just don't really recommend i don't know i just think they're overpriced there and i much rather save my money and find it elsewhere on my own but um again peace of mind for other people so yeah so i just felt as though there was a good selection. Um, I actually am texting Tiffany, LV lover, because there's this bag my sister sent that she wants for like a work bag, and um, for a work bag, and it. <laughs> she sent it to me, and she saw it like on this like DHL gate, and basically they copied like like a version of a bag because it looked familiar but then i scrolled in it and it like it wasn't the logo <laughs> it was like flowers and stuff but it looked really cute so she let she says she knows that's fake but she likes the style of the bag and for the life of me i was like i can't figure out what this bag is i know it looks familiar so i texted um tiffany and i was like do you know what this bag is called and like i know like is there a bag with a strap and basically it was the delightful with a strap and um yeah so and then yeah so yeah just tiffany's like the lv expert so i was texting her thank you tiffany for helping me out so i just wish there was a bag that was like the delightful and had a strap because i think that'd be so cool my sister like i'll show you the the, the picture that she sent me of course remember it's fake but she just likes the style of it so uh thanks tiff i was like what is that bag for some reason i thought like i kept saying artsy but i realized yeah it is a delightful so yeah <sighs> i am going to get some more stuff done and i think i'm gonna end it here so yes guys i hope oh one more thing i want to show you tell you guys about i'm gonna do a review on the one more thing i want to show you guys um is the lighting horrible here okay the lighting's horrible so i'll have to move oh maybe oh yeah so i'm definitely gonna do a a, a video on the stella mccartney bag a review eventually i don't know if i'm gonna do it now but eventually i will but i i wore this yes um, i wore this when i went to the store to the gucci store i think i showed you a quick outfit of the day yeah a quick outfit of the day i this bag is so heavy but it means so much to me and i love the look of it but i was actually my mom i was like spending an hour the chain I don't know if it's just this bag if you guys have this bag let me know um or if, like i've had this experience with other bags with chains it ended up like twisting and literally it was like a knot of a chain and it like got stuck so it took me <coughs> excuse me allergies and texture
Texas. It took me, I was like playing with it for, oh, that's bright. I was playing with it for like over an hour. We went to the Chanel store, which, oh, I saw the Chanel 22 bag. Is that what it's called? Ugh. I love it. I wish they had it in black there. I really, really love it. And it's super light. But anyways, yeah, so we're at the Chanel store. We went all over like Lock and Tara. And I was so paranoid about this chain that I kept like trying to like twist it. And so I was spending like an hour trying to untwist this chain. Thankfully, my mom has like a technique. So she ended up untwisting it. But um, that was the only thing like that I had an issue with yesterday. So that was kind of annoying. But nevertheless, um, really really still like this bag a lot although it does have some cons so if you're interested in seeing a review let me know and yeah i hopefully will do that in the future